Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of my CB350 build. Alright, tonight we're going to continue disassembling the bike. We're going to remove the rear shocks, the rear wheel, and then the swing arm. Alright, let's get started. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you, 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 So we'll first start off by removing this uh, rear shock here. Uh, while we're here, let me show you guys how to adjust your uh, shocks. So we have three positions, which is the softest, medium, and stiffest. All you do is take your spanner tool, put it in this little groove right here, and then you just adjust it. There we go. So right here we have it in the stiffest position. We'll take off these two bolts. Top bolt here and this bottom bolt here, and then we can take the shock off. Okay, I got a 14 millimeter bolt here. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. We should be able to pop this off. Just a little washer here. Alright, that's that. Try to take this little uh, cotter pin out here. Got our handy pliers. Bend this back. There we go. Let's see if we can loosen up this axle nut here. Looks like I have a 22 millimeter. The other side of the tire looks like we have this uh, bracket here that's connected to our drum brake. So we got to remove this first. There's just a cotter pin, a nut, and a washer. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, we should be able to pull our rear wheel right off. We'll remove this axle nut and washer. go. Whew. Wasn't too bad. Okay, now that you have the rear wheel off, you want to make sure you put everything back the way it was so you can keep track of it. So we had on the left side, we had an axle nut, a spacer, our chain adjustment, washer, and axle nut. And lastly, a cotter pin. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now to remove the swing arm, looks like we have a Nut here and a locking nut on the right side. I'm going to be using a 23 millimeter. Yeah, that should fit. Okay, got my vice grip.
Alright, I think this wraps up for this weekend's build. We finally got the bike fully disassembled. Next, we're going to take the frame to a fabricator, chop off the rear subframe, and install a tail loop. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch y'all next weekend. Ranch it up and ride safe, fellas. <music>